Pride fans and welcome to the first edition of Inside Greensboro College Football. I'm Sports Information Director Wes Gullett, joined today by Pride Head Coach Bill Young. Bill, thanks for taking the time to meet with me today. Absolutely. Anything we can do to promote our young people on this campus is a positive. Pride fans worked only 22 days from kickoff and the Pride just recently reported to camp. Bill, can you talk about how your first uh, little bit of camp's been? Yeah, it's it's been really exciting. A lot of a uh, lot of passion, a lot of excitement. Uh, we just got off the field, as you can tell. Uh, we've got a great group of young guys. The returners have uh, already displayed a lot of great leadership, and, and we're very excited. Uh, can you uh, highlight a few first couple practices? You know, what it's been like. What how the yeah. players adjusting to the new system, especially the newcomers coming from high school into the college we, game. You know, we've changed our method of operation. So in the way we conduct practice, uh, it's a little quicker, and and a lot of guys bounce around doing a lot of different things all at the same time. Uh, it, it creates a lot of reps for all of our guys, and uh, uh, so that's been a new adjustment for all of us coaches included. Um, you know. Players that have stood out, certainly Ray Bridges, we think is going to be uh, uh, an impact player within this league. Ray's done a phenomenal job right off the bat. We're excited about him on offense. Uh, Matt Graham, at quarterback, uh, is taking a real big leadership role and ownership of the offense, and, and it's his turn and his time. Uh, Abbasad, Jackman Wells uh, at the tight end position, got a new guy, Chicas. Uh, coming in as a true freshman, three really good tight ends. Jake Smith at fullback, uh, a lot of different weapons. Offensive line still fairly young, but you got Kyle Brewer, Sam Marsh coming back. Uh, those guys are, are pushing some bodies around up front. Defensively, uh, you know, we, we've got to find some consistency. We've got to find out who those playmakers are still. Uh, we're talking a little bit, you know, about the newcomers coming in, but you also got a lot of new faces on your coaching staff. Can you talk a little bit about your new staff? Yeah, it's been really exciting. Uh, Eric Westberg is now our offensive coordinator. He's earned that right, uh, brings a lot to the table. Uh, we've brought in uh, Clayton Hall to coach our offensive line and, uh, you know, doing a phenomenal job already watching those guys grow. The young guys have done a phenomenal job in, in – uh, their communication with that position coach. Mo Terrain's a graduate of Greensboro College. Maurice has come back, uh, given back to the program, coaching running backs, and of course, uh, our, our main man, Dexter Russell, a uh, big time wide receiver here uh, in his second year with his staff. He's doing a great job. Um, Hunter Glenn, coaching our tight ends. Hunter uh, is, is from a school down in South Carolina, and he's up here, and he's having an impact with our guys as well. So offensively, a lot of new faces on the staff. Uh, defensively, uh, Mark Grinton, who was a, a four-time, four-year linebacker for us, is back coaching with us. And then uh, John Falvey is our defensive line coach, longtime defensive coordinator, a lot of experience all the way from uh, Pee Wee football up to Division I. And uh, he, it's been great. He's challenged some of our thought process and our theories, and that's been great, of course. Matt Runyon is going to work with the secondary this year. So a lot of new things going on, a lot of growth, and uh, uh, they're fun to be around, really fun. Right. With all the changes on your staff, how has your team uh, adapted to the changes compared to past years with a lot of new faces coming in? They don't know any better. We're so young, uh, they don't know any better. So uh, maybe that's a good thing. You know, everybody looks at youth as, as, as a bad thing, and uh, our guys just line up and compete every day. I, I think they uh, – They've gravitated well to the different coaching styles, and and uh, they just they want to play hard. They're giving great effort. Uh, they want their coaches to play hard. They want their coaches to give great effort. And if we can put all that thing into a little bundle, you know, who knows when, when it's going to explode for us. Well, Coach Young, thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. And Pride fans, once again, 22 days from today, start of the 2015 season with the annual Gay City Super Bowl at Jameson Stadium at 7 o'clock.